Hi everyone, hope you're okay and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. I can't believe that we're over halfway through um, into Vlogmas now, which is absolutely mental. We've got literally 11 days left. Yeah. Um, no, is that right? Yeah, it is. Um, so yeah, that's absolutely crazy. I can't believe how fast December's going and how fast like Christmas is going to be here. And truth be told, I'm still not feeling that Christmassy yet, so that's a little bit sad. <laughs> um, but today's Saturday, and today I am going to be having, I need to have like, um, there's one need to get some jobs done, I need to go and get Frankie some pet food, well just some food, not pet food, that doesn't make sense, um, because he hasn't got any, well he ran out this morning, so I need to go get him some more. And then I need to go and get human food um, because I realised last night I didn't really have anything in the house for like lunch or dinner today or tomorrow. So I'm going to go and get those and then I'm going to walk Frank and then this afternoon I'm going to try and have a bit of a lazy chilled afternoon because I'm feeling a little bit meh, kind of tired and um, I just kind of want to have a chill. I need to catch up on so many other people's Vlogmas videos and YouTube videos because I've just not had a chance this week so I'm going to like catch up on all those and then I'm feeling a little Christmas movie this afternoon with my pal Frank. Here's Frankie down here. Frankie, say good morning. You okay? You've been very cuddly this morning, aren't you? Oh, cuddly boy. Funny little thing. Um, so yes, I think that's the plan for today really. Obviously if anything interesting happens I will be vlogging. Um, but I think it's going to be a bit of a lazy chill day because I feel like that's what I need. And yeah, that's about it. I realised that um, the other day that I probably wear all the same clothes in all my vlogs. But when you're kind of just around the house and obviously it's quite cold, I've just been wearing like the same jumpers. So apologies about that. But yeah, it looks quite nice and sunny out there but it also looks cold. You know when the sun looks to see them? That's what I'm feeling today. But I'm going to get some breakfast because I, I am absolutely starving. And then we're going to go on an adventure to pets at home. I'm eating breakfast but I'm still hungry so I'm going to make an advent calendar time now. And I realised that yesterday I didn't do the advent calendar which means I'm really, really rubbish. So I'm going to thank you first. Um... Has he had number 10 yet? No, he hasn't. Oh, he hasn't even had number 9, bless him. That's it. Good boy. By the way, just so everyone knows, Frankie's advent calendar is one for pets, so it's dog chocolate, which means it's not poisonous. Because someone commented on one of my vlogs saying, you do realise that po chocolate is poisonous for dogs. Obviously, I realise that I am not feeding my dog chocolate. Um, it's just so everyone's clear on that. And then 11 and 12 for me, I think. That's because I've already eaten 11. It's 12 and 13 that I need to have. Ooh. Creepy elf. Yay. Another creepy elf. I don't think somebody wants me to go. Do you not want me to go, Frankie? No? Let me sit with you. Hello. <laughs> I take you with me, but I need to go food shopping. I do. <laughs> Shall I go get you some food? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing, Frankster? I'll be back soon before you know and then we'll go on a walk. How's that sound? That sound like Also, I think that the car's going to be frozen over and I've never had to defrost the car before. Um, so Henry was like, oh, just take a bottle of like lukewarm water and pour it over the screen and you'll be fine. But the only bottle that I have... Oh, look at Frankie. Oh, cuddles. The only bottle that I have is um, the empty Copperberg one from last night. So... I'm definitely going to look like a, <laughs> a lout <laughs> going around and putting water on my car with um, a cop and bed bottle, but oh well. Look at Frankie. 
Aw, you're cuddly today, aren't you? Do you not feel very well? You do you like this when you feel poorly. Hmm? No. at home done whoop, whoop. now we're gonna go food shopping and i think to change things up um i'm not gonna go to sainsbury's i'm gonna go to waitrose because i've never really been there before and i feel like a change so we're gonna get all posh is waitrose posh i think it's quite posh we're gonna get all posh and go to waitrose oh yeah don't say i never take you anywhere exciting because this is blooming exciting i've made it to waitrose and i've parked the furthest away as possible because you all know how much i hate parking looks cute though because um Carol singers outside. You don't get that in Sainsbury's, do you? But yeah, let's go see what this Waitrose is all about. Well, that was a experience. I felt like I was the youngest person in Waitrose by about 30 years. I was just literally, I think you could just tell that I've never been there before because I was just walking around like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just home now, which is good. And I thought I would show you a couple of things that I bought. Hey, get down. I really need to empty that bit, I'll do that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you what I bought. I've only bought a few bits and bobs, but yeah. So, first of all, I bought some spicy and zesty chilli and lime sweet potato wedges. So I thought they looked quite nice and I could have them for my tea, maybe with some dip or something. So I thought they looked quite yum. Put those in the fridge. That's what we got. I bought some hot chocolate because we haven't got any and I felt like I was going to have a hot chocolate. Bought some tomato and mascarpone pasta sauce to go with this pasta, tomato, mozzarella and basil tortelloni, lini, I don't know, um, but like filled pasta, I thought that looked really good, I've not had any of this in so, so long, so I'm going to have some pasta for tea tonight, I think, um, I bought some cheese and chive dip because you all know I'm just, like obsessed, I bought some mozzarella, Excuse me, get down. I bought some tomatoes and avocado. Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited to try these. These are the Candy Floss Sweet and Juicy Cotton Candy Grapes. I heard about these about two months ago and I've just not been able to find them anywhere. So I picked some of these up because I am intrigued to see what they taste like. Put them up there. Oh, it's nice. Oh, well, I think I should try these. Um, sour cream and chive pretzels, I thought they looked really good. Um, I bought some Rude Health porridge because I keep watching like Vlogmas videos with people making porridge and it's making me want porridge. Um, and I know that a lot of people go on about Rude Health, so I thought that I'd give that a go for in the morning. I thought it might keep me filled up like for longer. I bought some almonds as a snack. I bought Henry 12 because... I literally bought every, every other food thing was for me and then I bought, bought some more whole meal pickers which you all know I eat loads of. So I think that's everything. I bought Frank's food. I also bought him some treats from Rachel's, Rose. Some tasty kind of fake bacon rashes. I've already given him one so hopefully he has enjoyed that. Where has your collar gone mister? Where's your collar? Hmm? So I think... Now that I'm home, I've just unpacked, I am going to take Frankel out for a walk and then I'm going to come back, tidy the house because it's looking like a bomb hit it because Henry had a day off yesterday um, and then I think we're going to finally chill, watch on YouTube and watch a Christmas film. How does that sound? Sound like a good plan? Let's have yeah. another Christmas card. How cute. Excuse me. Shh. And it's got a gold bird and it says season greetings. And it's from my friend Sarah, aka City Girl Fashion Books. How cute is that? which is a little bit later than normal and I'm watching one of the best Friends episodes in my opinion. The one where Ross is fine. What are you doing Frank? Someone's tired. These grapes are a bit strange. <laughs> also, 
This is the Friends episode where Ross gets a tan. I think this may be the best one actually. I think one of my favourite things to do at the weekend is to just snuggle up on the sofa in a blanket and catch up with YouTube. Like, it's just my favourite thing to do and I just feel all cosy, all the lights on. So, the same thing that happened on Friday night just happened tonight. One minute I was watching YouTube videos on the sofa, minding my own business, the next minute I wake up and it's 7pm and I've obviously been asleep. I think I just got too cosy and ended up having a nice little nap again. So I'm kind of feeling a bit disorientated right now because I'm like, what's going on? Um, my vlog from yesterday still hasn't uploaded, so it's going to be up a little later this evening. Um, and yeah, I just feel really like, oh, I don't know what's going on right now. So I think what I'm going to do is, I've woke up really, really hot as well. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm having a right hot flush. I've put Strictly Come Dancing on because obviously I am an old woman. And it's the X Factor final tonight, which is exciting. Um, half past eight, that's on. Um, so I'm going to watch that in a bit. But I think I'm going to kind of let myself kind of wake up. <laughs> not on the sofa. Is that yummy? Is it yummy? <laughs> Time to cook dinner. Do, do, do. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I hope this tastes as good as I hope it's going to taste. I'm not expecting them to get so big. Oh my god. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it still looks nice. And I put it in my Disney princess bowl because who you know, who knew that I actually am 23 instead of 12? Pasta update, it's really, really good. Take your time. And Henry's bowl of flurries and pie. <laughs> Frankie's very excited. Look at that chocolate, yummy. Hey, no, always had a labradoodle going for it then. Oh.